for a connecting piece for having me in this film. Oh, here. Interview takes it. Here, Mr. Sorry. Spagnoli. What, what, what do you think was the best part about putting together this project and what stood out in your mind the most? Take your time. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Allowing these young people to share their experiences. A lot of young people think that they don't have a lot of life experience to share. Um, in film or in storytelling and just seeing them take, like I said before, a really cliched uh, domestic drama about a mother and daughter, almost like a Cinderella type tale and turning it into something really unique with their own voices and it's not, I don't think anything is uh, a coincidence, sorry if I hit you Amanda, that was not a domestic <laughs> dispute, that wasn't the sequel where she kills my pet, nothing, I don't have any pets. Um, but. Uh, you know, just to see them, like Alexa had a lot of experience, you know, dealing with drama in her own life, so taking that personal experience, turning it into art, Amanda could relate to the stuff happening to the character, so I just think it's a pleasure for me to see young people take their own personal experience and turn it into art. I was on the internet today because nobody does that anymore, <laughs> and I was reading an article about Spike Lee because he just directed a, uh, a one-man show about uh, Rodney King on Netflix. And it said, you know, if you want to make it in this industry, you cannot be lazy. And so you're talking about we do a documentary while we're doing a narrative. Like, you need to, like, hit the ground hard. Yes. You want to sleep? Sure, sleep later. <laughs> right? Three hours, take a power nap. Drink a coffee. <laughs> Have a few coffees or whatever. But seriously, if you want to be an artist and you want to be a successful artist in the field, you have to work hard and a lot of artists they have to work on multiple projects until they can get their break because practice makes perfect yeah. so work tireless tireless tire work hard work tirelessly <laughs> that's the, that's what i was and just as a concluding note unless it's going to continue on further this definitely follows my mantra of hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard not only working on your talent is hard work but working on your confidence as an individual your true confidence so no one can shake you that is the hardest journey i think every single millennial young person is dealing with today and i just want to be here to show my film to every single adult and person that audience today to let them know that it's okay not to feel sure with yourself and it's okay to just take time to unplug away from what everybody is doing because at the end of the day the only relationship you have at the end of the day that's secure is the one that is with yourself and if you have that you do have the potential to follow your dreams you do have the ability and don't let any negative energy deter you from that because negative energy is lies but from that it can come great art back to mr sullivan well, if that wasn't well said, I don't know what is, because the, the film industry is one of endless energy, and, and that kind of energy is what makes it. Listen, this has been really wonderful. Congratulations, Jason. You're doing a great job with the kids. You guys did great. You're wonderful. I'm so looking forward to this career. These guys are going to go someplace. So anyway, it's been a pleasure. Yes. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Thank you.